We observe a very important case of interference when two counter-running plane waves of same amplitude superpose. The resulting oscillatory process is called a standing wave. In practice, standing waves occur when waves are reflected from barriers. The wave which falls on the barrier and the oncoming reflected wave superpose, thus forming a standing wave. Here frequency, phase and coefficient of wave attenuation in the place of reflection are very important factors. Oscillations on each point of a standing wave have the same frequency with counter-running waves. Such points are called antinodes of a standing wave. The points where oscillation amplitude turns into zero are called standing wave nodes. The surrounding points in the nodes do not oscillate. Every wave process with propagation of disturbance can be accompanied by the occurrence of standing waves. They may occur not only in gaseous, fluid or solid environments, but also, also in vacuum, when electromagnetic disturbances are propagated and reflected. They may occur, for example, in long electric lines. A pure standing wave may exist only when there are no losses in the environment and the waves are fully reflected from the boundaries. Usually, besides standing waves, there are also progressive waves in the environment. They supply energy to the places where it is consumed and radiated. In optics, it is also possible to establish a standing wave with visible maximums and minimums of an electric field. If the light is not monochromatic, then antinodes of the electric field of different length waves will be located in different spots. In this case, the colors split very often. 